What's up ladies? My name is Rosie and I make content to build women over 40 confidence so they can wear what the hell they want to wear. Today's topic is how to feel confident in a bikini. Let's do this. Work on your self-confidence. When I say that, I mean you need to do the inner work. And sometimes we have to sit still and do that inner work. What do I want? You know, do I like my body? Will I want to change something, right? Because we have options. This is the only body we have and we have to treat it well. So again, back to the options piece. We can either accept our body or we can change it. If we wanna change it, we could go the route of surgery, right? And if we choose to accept it, again, do that inner work to accept your body as it is. Or you could possibly enhance, right? That's another option. For me, I have little bitty titties, right? Always have. So I like to enhance them by doing push-up. You know, um, when I have a two-piece bathing suit, I want the top to kind of, sometimes, not all of my bathing suits have that, but some of them, I want to enhance my breasts. So it is always options. You know, just figure it out. Again, we have that one body and we need to love up on it. So do that inner work and build that self-confidence. Get yourself in the best shape. only one way to do that well there's multiple ways because you can do surgery too for that but get yourself in the best shape and that means exercising I know a lot of people don't like to exercise and I really don't either but I know the benefits of doing it I have a personal trainer and I hate it like I hate every part of it people say that you know you feel good after a workout or you have all of this energy after a workout I I don't have that day on energy. I be ready to go to sleep. Like I know it's important that I move my body three to four times a week, if not more, right? But definitely three to four times a week, you need to be getting that heart rate up. And the byproduct of that is that you will get that body in shape, right? And that is what will help you look good in that bikini. Because we all know when we look good, we feel good and we exude that confidence. So yes, you need to get that body in the best shape you can. So we need to get out there and exercise. Pick a bikini that you really like. To build that confidence, you have to have something that you love. That is what I've been saying when it comes to outfits, anything. Bikinis is no different, right? When you're going to the beach, you have to pick out something that you love. That will help exude the confidence that I like this bathing suit. I like the way it's fitting my body. And we have to be conscious of getting that. We don't want to just get something and settle for something. You know, take the time, be proactive, start looking ahead of your trip so you don't have to go online or go in the store and find something and you're just settled. You want to find something that you love. If you like cutouts, you know, find that type of bathing suit. If you want a one piece, find that. If you want a bikini, find that. Be specific in what you want. If you want to explore different colors, do that. Again, be proactive active and find a bathing suit that you love. Find amazing accessories. Now you got that bikini but now you need to style it up. If you're like me I get in the water but sometimes I just like to be cute. So I put jewelry on. As you can see here I got some necklaces on. So clearly if I dress this way with you know bangles or you know whatever I ain't getting in the water. This is cute. This is for me to sit out and lay out and <laughs> everybody just stare. 
So get accessories, right? So you see I have on a cover up here. So go find yourself a cover up that, you know, works with the bikinis that you have packed. Again, accessorize with necklaces. Get those sandals. I mean, do it up, right? Because that is going to enhance your overall look and make the confidence come out. Make sure everything else is on point. When I say that, I'm talking about hair, nails, feet. Let's start with the hair. I am a black woman, so you know my first go-to is going to be some braids. So I'ma make sure that my braids are fresh for this vacation and that, you know, they are looking good, fresh, neat, right? And then, you know, braids are not always my go-to, but like I said, as a black woman, that's my first thing. But I've also worn like curly wigs to the beach, also worn my natural hair. It's just the mood that I'm in when it's time to go on the vacation determines my hair choice. Moving on to the nails, right? You want to make sure that they're on point. You want to have them, you know, clear, polished, whatever your choice is, but you want to make sure that they're done. Also with your feet, you want to get that pedicure, right? You want to make sure that you don't have chipped and toenail polish because you're going to be worried about that. You're going to be conscious and burying your feet in the sand because you're not confident because you know your feet ain't right, right? So just be aware of those things and make sure those things are on point to exude confidence. After all of that, you want to develop a who the hell cares mentality. You have done everything that you can to build your confidence. At this point, it's like, what? Fuck them. I look good, I feel good, and I'm going out, and I'm going to have myself a good time. So, the takeaway is, develop that who the hell cares mentality and keep it pushing. If you are a woman over 40 struggling with fashion insecurities, such as a negative toxic inner voice comparison to others, body type issue, and you want to gain confidence to overcome them and to wear what the hell you want to wear, leave a comment below or DM me on Instagram and I will be happy to assist. Welp, that's all I have for this video. So as I always leave you, I want you to buy less, choose well, and make it last. Until next time, bye-bye.